Hi guys, Phil Russell here, Hawkins Estate Agents, Hawkins latest uh, property tour. Um, we're in a bright, sunny, uh, very shiny Roxborough Road, um, which is a small little street just off Leyland Road, um, which is in Attleborough. And we go to that house, a bit of a monster of a house, um, big extension on the, on the side. The house was built in 1963, the extension, sorry, 1968, and the house um, extended in 1972 to create a split level duplex two stories uh, flat on the side just underneath the the bit there so it's a bit of a tale of two halves this one um property at the side the the house the original house the semi-detached house and needs a little bit of update and a little bit of modernization there the flat has been recently refurbished in the last three years and it's immaculate very very smart so we're going to show you around inside the house first then the flat and then outside at the back garden so let's go and have a look so block paved driveway parking for two or three vehicles there potential to extend onto the front garden there so porch and doorway through into the main house door under there 33a just for the postal service to the actual flat and then that's a lobby between the flat and the house and takes you through to the back garden so we're going to venture through that way let's go and have a look so we're just inside then now that's the porch on the on the front where we've just come from and this is the hall would have been a doorway there originally through into the lounge wooden panelling and old style tiled walls there then straight through into the kitchen we've sold others of these down the street with the wall knocked out between the two it's well fitted with a big array of units obviously you're going to be looking at upgrading updating that one, that's the side lobby. Sliding picture with sliding doors, windows on the back. Another sliding door here, then through into the lounge. Nice big room, which has been used as storage now. And the dining room at the back. And then the lean-to here. It's not brick built, um, just a lean-to added on which in reality is, is going to come down and leave you with some other options there. So the side then, we just dash through. Sorry, it's a little bit quick. So you've got the lobby, new composite door, and then the back door through into the back garden. And I'll just show you this one. The sun trap. The sun is just setting over there, so we're going to find it in a minute. Okay, if I don't fall over. So that's all nicely done. So you can see the flat, quite an extension there, look. Bedroom on the ground floor with the side door. Stairway up to the first floor. And on the back then you've got the kitchen, the landing and the shower room up there. Let's go up there and have a, have a look through. So we'll just work our way upstairs then now. So we're onto the landing. And then that door there on the right hand side, that's the interconnecting door into the flat that obviously I'll show you in a, in, in a moment. Um, that could easily be, you know, blocked back up and, and all be separate. Depends how you want to work it. So the main house is then three bedrooms up here, lovely big, obviously it's a bedroom, it's just being used as a, a, a dining room here at the moment. Lots of space, look, double glazed window on the front. And then you've got bedroom two on the back. Again, another lovely big room. This one's got the views over the garden. And you can see there. Bedroom three is on the front. Now, normally the bedrooms, they're about the width of the stairway and then the doorway. But this one is, obviously, as you can see, it's quite a bit, quite a bit wider. Okay. And then the shower room is in here. You've got the electric shower in the bath over the shower there. Okay, so that's that one. So we're just going to head back into the garden. I'll show you um, a, a little bit more. 
So 33A then, this is the duplex flat to the side. I'm just gonna whiz around there so you can see. So you've got a hallway. As I say, this one's all been refurbished. So it's in very, very smart order. I'm just gonna pop a light on because it's a, a bit dark. Right, so hallway, bit of storage under the stairway. Stairs then lead up to the, the first floor. On the ground floor, away from everything, is the bedroom on the back. Big window on the back, tele mounted on the wall, side door there, and a storage wardrobe all built in. <clears throat> Let's pop upstairs. So up we go. The landing then mentioned it before, you've got the interconnecting door through into the main house, that's that side. You've got the shower room on the back, all very smart, all built in, nicely done. Shower over the there, yeah, fully tiled walls and flooring. And then behind me, lots of light coming through with the windows open and then into the lounge on the front. And then on the back, very smart kitchen, all integrated appliances, tall fridge freezer here, washing machine. There's a tabletop dishwasher in the cupboard. The boiler's hiding in there as well. So tabletop dishwasher, boiler in there, valent boiler, lots of storage. That's all nicely done. Nice tiled flooring as well. Okay, so that's that one. Um, I'm gonna pop outside, tell you a little bit more as well. Okay, so back at the back garden then now. Um, very much a tale of two sides of a property on this one. Um, so the property's actually been in the family since it was built. As I said before, 1968, the extension was done in 1972, whilst the family's parents were here. Um, that was the main family home. And then the other side, um, obviously um, over the years had actually been let out. Um, so we feel it would work for either an extended family, if you've got, you know, larger family and you need a bit of extra space or it could be a teenage suite or something along those lines with the flat there at the side. Alternatively, it could be a great income. We believe someone would pay probably in the region of around about £500 per month for the uh, flat. It's obviously got its own entrance door. Very easy to sort of block off the landing where there's the interconnecting door. That would certainly work. Um, the boiler serves the whole property. So you've just got to proportion the you know the, the the cost there and and so on but that's all doable and we can certainly help on on that side so hope you've enjoyed the tour i know it's you know needs a little bit of tlc there but it's a great opportunity here very rarely available to the market asking price is 227 500 um we will be accompanying the viewings the clients will vacate they're in the flat at the moment um so we're able to show you around obviously pretty much straight away and we do look forward to obviously being able to show you that have a look online there's extra photographs um there's the color floor plan etc a bit more information on there as well um so do have a look at, at that side don't forget obviously to keep looking on our um, youtube videos and subscribe to that page links either side um for that one so um great spot Attenborough very very sought after you've got the obviously Attenborough Green just down the down the way road links obviously out towards the M6 M69 birds are fluttering um so yeah it, it's worth coming to have a look if you like to get your teeth into something and put a bit of a stamp on there maybe live in the flat whilst that's being done we think that would that would work so thanks for watching though obviously stay safe take care guys bye bye